this is Spidey1958, and welcome to my Let's Play Agarian Skies, episode 11. Uh, this episode, we're going to hopefully complete a couple quests, and I'll show you a bunch of stuff I did off-camera. So first of all, let's get some off-camera stuff taken care of. Do, 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 do. Let's grab some sand, because I can show you what I've been doing. Do, 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 do. Should have some sand in here. Yep. Just grab a little sand. I never did find the uh, ancient spores, but since I was getting mycelium from uh, my sludge furnace, I went ahead and uh, basically just put down one square and it spread around. And I've been getting soul sand. I made a water source here. And basically, you throw that in and fill back up water. And I just kept doing that. And whenever the water is changing, you get mushrooms. So you have another source of food. And that gives me soul sand. And I need to make creepy doll, creepy dolls to summon Enderman. But we got a couple other things I want to do here first. Uh, let's see, what else do I need to show you? Well, let's go ahead and get something going here. Do I have my tank? Yep. Do do do. I got a farm going, like I said I was. Out here. So I'm not getting extra seed yet, but I'm getting wheat. And this is where what I'm basically getting from my... Uh, see, there's my mycelium that I get from my sludge. I get gravel, dirt, sand, soul sand occasionally, tainted soil, heat sand, peat, salt, and of course clay. So I added three more of those. So do I have my wrench? Yes, I do. So we're going to go ahead and change this out. And Okay, then go ahead and put down our portable tank there. And I think I can just put those along these along the edge here. And that should fill up my tank. So now I got a full tank of lava. And let's go to the next things we've seen. Do, 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 do. I need to put stairs here. This is my water because I'm going to need squid sacks to make ink. So I used a bunch of my arrows make chickens so I can get eggs which is working and do I have I didn't grab the other stuff I need do, 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 do. remember to close that hopefully these chickens won't desp despawn but they should give me enough eggs to make which means I'm going to make be making tons of bows but that's all right well, I guess I never showed you. I got some carrot and uh, potato seeds, so I've been growing carrots and potatoes. Do, 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 do. So 
So, uh, none of those go in there. Huh. Potato seeds. Okay, let's go ahead and drop that in there. I did build a second autonomous activator to speed that up a little. Though I may use it somewhere else. But I've been getting lots of nether quartz. So let's see here. I need to make a bunch of bows. Okay, bunch of bows successfully built. And I get all sorts of weird nether plants. I also got a gas tier, which is supposed to be fairly rare. And a lot of nether quartz, so. I'm doing okay in that regards. Now I need to get my eggs. It should be in this one. Eggs. I need a second crafting bench is what I need. Let's go ahead and make one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get some wood here. And take that and that and that. So suppose I can put that right there in the middle. Nope. Or on top there. Nope. But I can put it down there. Okay. Uh, I thought that was the recipe. I made tons of bows that I don't need because it's fishing rods. Now I gotta figure out what to do with all these bows. Probably throw them away. Fishing rods do make much more sense than uh, bows. I don't know why I was thinking it was bows. It's made from string and wood. Oh, let's build another. I need another one of these anyway. Build a couple chests. Now let's put a chest here. And that will be our flub one. Ooh, I'm going to need more string. More jam, more string. squid egg. What if squid? Uh, 
That's weird. Gives me just enough for three. Yay. And then out of here, we need this and this. And we have our extra chest. Okay, and it's night and rainy. So let's sleep. need steps here. Now let's see if this will actually work. Hey squids! And I got calamari. And I should have gotten Oh, well, that's calamari. That's raw squid. And eight insects, just what I needed. So, we get that taken care of. Excuse me, Mr. Chicken. I'm going into the danger zone. Come on, close. Okay, it's really noisy near here and I apologize for that. So we're going to put down our grinder. And then next to it, we're going to put down a chest. We're going to put this down, put our lava on top, and see if this works. Go give this some help. Okay, then we're gonna get out our pick, one of these, and there we have. Now, can I put a second slab here and still open that? No, I didn't think so. Come on.
be nice to get the mob essence out too and I may do that later but for now we have a way that all, all these bows are gonna be a pain but And we'll have to replace, refill our tank occasionally. But at least we got that a little automated. Oops. And of course, I'm really hungry because of the uh, that. So, okay, let's go complete some quests now that we got all that stuff done. more food here on the way. I think food's under control and you see I planted all rubber trees since I had the automated farm and then I haven't harvested them, them but once but I don't think raw squid can be eaten. I'm not positive on that. So creeper head looks like that was it. Oh no all the other stuff went into this bag. Woohoo! Even the watermelon. I didn't know watermelon went in there. So we'll shift right click there. Wow, we're out of room in our bag. If you cook, this is a morsel. If you cook it, does it get better? Can you cook it? Okay. Let's go ahead and put our bags. Whoops. That we want anyway. Okay. There's the paper. I knew I'd made paper at some point. And I think this is just good for bait. So where did I put my fishing and bait stuff? I'll put it up here. Okay, and food. It needs to be cooked goes in here. That goes in there. And this stuff goes in here. Okay. And go ahead and put our backpacks away. And it seemed to me there were some other quests I could do. So let's go ahead and see here. I uh, can't do that one. I can't do that one. Can't do that one. Can't really do that one yet. I could do that one if I make a uh, squeezer. Oh, except I think I also need to make tools to make a can. Okay, let's see here. Nope, we need ender stuff for that. Ooh, we can probably do these. What do you need to make a sacrificial knife? Because the book's easy. Sacrificial knife. Huh, that's not hard. So, let's make some books. Do, do, do. So, first of all, I'm going to need three books, which means I'm going to need six of those. 
That means I'm going to need 12 sticks. Okay. And we're going to need six of those. And then we need some string. That should let us make the books. And then we should be able to make the bookcase. Except I actually need the wood in here. And we should have our wand in here. So if we put this down and bing, we have our Thamanomicon. Yay! And then we need to make the sacrificial dagger, which was a piece of iron, a piece of gold, and some glass, right? Okay, so we should be able to complete that quest. It looks like I get all those rewards. And another heart. Yay, we're up to five. And we'll put our Thamanomicon in there. And our sacrificial dagger, I guess we'll put up here. And let's put our goodie bag down here and see what we get. Jaded princess. So Jaded Princess pr creates honeycombs, tinted cone, and pollen. And tinted cone gives us honey drops, tinted honey, and beeswax. And basically it gives us purple dye. Okay. So we have a bee that will give us purple dye. just in case we need purple dye. Okay, let's see if there's anything else we can complete while we're trying to build up our hearts here. So the next ones is... So obsidian, TNT, ice, grass, sandstone, slabs, and netherrack. Well, the easiest one of those to make are sandstone slabs, unless I find a way to make netherrack. So I guess we won't be doing that one anytime soon. Blood Alder. Use a sacrificial knife. Collect 10 hearts worth of life essence in the Blood Alder. So how do you make a Blood Alder? That must be from a mod. I don't know at all. 
Blood altar. Diamond, gold, smooth stone, furnace. Oh, we can build that now. We'll have to also get 10 life. I think we'll skip that one until I can look up blood magic. Because I don't know blood magic. So next is Hell's Kitchen. This one I think we can easily do. So the first thing we need to do is make a juicer. Oh, that's not difficult. I think I have just enough stuff to do that. So if we put that and that gives us a juicer. Yay! What do we need next? Bakeware. Bakeware can be either glass or bricks, like that. And eh, glass is easier, because I have it on me. Yay! And last but not least is a mixing bowl. That looks easy enough. So stick, wood, wood, wood. Juicing. Okay, so how do we make apple juice? Apple juice. Apple and a juicer. Well, that looks easy. So let's grab an apple. Put it in here with a juicer. Apple, juicer, apple juice. Manual submit. Oh, we need 10 apple juice. Okay, yay, we get to claim our reward. Put our heart in there, our extra apple away. Wow, I'm running out of room again. So let's put the daggers up, up here. The daggers of shame, because I couldn't hit anything with them. I leave. Yep, left the juicer in there. Now let's see what we got. We got corn seeds. So we can grow corn now. Okay, what next can we do in this? Next one in this is Culinary Genius. Need a cutting board, a skillet, a mortar, and a pestle, and it gives us a full heart. So let's make those. So stick knight, okay, that's easy enough. That's probably why it gave us the iron. I should have done this earlier. Oh, need wood. 
and stick. Okay, that gives us cutting tools. Next we need skillet. Two iron and a stick. I detect a pattern here. So let's go ahead and get three iron. Because I bet that's why it gave us the iron. So we need more sticks. Oh, that's rubber wood. That's all right, I have normal wood right here. Frying pan. Nope. And next we need mortal and mortar and pestle. Three stone and a stick. Oh, cook calamari is actually slightly better. Okay, let's go throw our stone in there. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and make our creepy doll. And we need lapis, redstone. Perhaps another ward in here. And we need redstone. Two pieces of that. What else did we need? Whoops. Two, four lapis. Oops, oops, I need the precious dial, dial first. So I need to make some more porcelain clay and I need an emerald. So it's dang expensive to summon Enderman. So I'm going to need some clay. Clay. And we need 10 clay. And bone mill. Oops. Okay, I got my creepy dolls that I'll need later. And our smooth stone should be enough there. Yep. And now I've forgotten what I'm making. Mortal, mortar and pestle. Oops. Okay, that part's done. And our last thing is we need a pot. There it is, pot. So we actually need four iron and a stick. That's done. We can claim rewards. Yay, another heart. I'm back up to six lives. I think I need a new chest. Let's make a new chest. This will be our cooking chest. And we will put it right there. So let's get our cooking implements out of here. 
and throw our cooking stuff in the cooking chest. And what do we get for a goodie? A golden Nixon. I don't know what a golden Nixon is, but I have one. Sort of looks like a crook. Well, we're past the wrapping up point. So, as always, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and give me a like or a comment. And if you dislike the episode, that's fine. But please give me a comment saying why you disliked it. As always, this is Spidey1958, and have fun Minecrafting.